Welcome to a new video. In this video we will discuss a full wave rectifier in a precision circuit application. We will see how we can determine the transfer characteristics from our source to the output voltage. And of course we will do that step by step in order to calculate the required component values and verify these in SPI simulations. Before we jump to our design example, let's first discuss the operation principle of this precision full wave rectifier. The circuit is given here and we already have discussed in the previous video about the whole wave rectifier in the precision form. So let me first denote the note here H in order to discuss this clearly. So we have this part which is our precision whole wave rectifier. This is now here in the combination with our inverting summing amplifier. So our in signal is at H, which is our output of the precision half wave rectifier, will be summed together with this source voltage directly using these three resistors. Okay, so what is now the condition here? So how do we work this out? Now let's first look at our precision half wave rectifier transfer characteristics. Voltage transfer from this source voltage to the node H, so VH, is already discussed so for less than zero, so for negative values of our Vs, so for negative cycles, we know that our output voltage will be zero. And for positive values, that will be then the minus R2 or R1. So this actually is again sort of an inverting amplifier times again our input voltage. Now for the inverting summing amplifier, this is of course from the uh, previous discussions about the operational amplifier circuits. You have now two inputs, the H and also the Vs. So we can say we can now add them together in this format, so we can say the VO is equal to minus R5 over R3 times the VH, that's the first part, and then minus again the R5 over R4 times VS. Now this is important, we can use this later. And what's now the total circuit? So we have now the voltage transfer from the VS all the way from the source to the output VO. Now for again, this condition where the VS is negative, then we have since this is zero, we only have this. So we only have the part where you have the, uh, I mean this one, where you have only the connection from the source directly to the output using R4 and R5. When the Vs is positive, then you get the condition here and also the condition where you can substitute in this expression. So you substitute the Vh here, this expression in here, that will be then this. So you, min you lose the minus signs, there's so minus times minus will go and you have this expression and you also have this part from the second part of this expression for the VO. And what you see is actually that there is a relationship between the VO and the VS only determined by the resistors. Now in total we have here five resistors. So what we want is in general we have a sine wave, pure sine wave with an amplitude of A and a period here given by capital letter T. And we would like the VO, which is rectified and is full wave rectified in this fashion. That is actually the absolute value of this sine wave. So that is what we need. So we need to have the exact same wave here for the positive first cycle. And this negative cycle, second cycle, must be then flipped and actually shown here. So the full, full wave rectified output signal, we need to have mathematically the following. For less than zero, so for the negative values of Vs, this part we need to have that the V out must be minus Vs. So this needs to be flipped. That's actually what's shown here. And for larger than zero, for positive cycle, for this part, we need to have that this is exactly the same as the output. So the output must be equal to the Vs. So these two conditions we need to meet in order to get this full wave rectifier. This we can set if uh, if we look at this transfer function expression for the V out in terms of Vs. We need to say this is by, by the way many options, but we can say the R5 over R4 just one. So we have here a one, and we can then make this such that this is in total Vs because that's what we need for the Vs is larger than zero. And that means if this is true, if this is set, then this is required. So if you make this let's say five, then you need to make this six in order to have again this Vs here. So this is then 2. So this complete thing must add up to 2. So we can now make the life easy by saying well, let's put some resistor values and also make as equal as possible to make the design pretty easy. 
So we can say the R1, R2, so these two, and also the R4 and R5, so these two, so four resistors, we just say these are just defined as R. So they are exact same. Then the resistor R3 must be the half of the resistor we have here chosen. Why? Because if this is R, this is R, which is actually here, then this is R, this is also R, so this is also R because all here. So we have now R, R over, so R squared over R times R3 is equal to 2. So you lose one R here, so you get actually R over R3 is equal to 2. That means R3 must be R over 2 of course, what you have taken for these values. Again, we can take example, let's say R1 is equal to R2, etc. So which is then two kilo ohms, then it means then R3 must be one kilo ohm, just the half of this one. Again, many other options are possible. So this is not the only way you can also make the, let's say the R3 and different value, you just, for example, select the R3 and then calculate the R2, for example. So you don't have to set this. This is just to make these two conditions valid. Okay. Let's now go to the design example itself. So we have uh, here a design, a precision full wave rectifier circuit. That's the objective. And given here are the waveform for the input. Yes, there's a blue line and the required output. The blue line is a two volt peak and 100 Hertz frequency signal. And the rectifier version is exactly shown here. So this is the absolute value again of this Vs. So the solutions, how to work it out. Now again, we will use our circuit we have just discussed. And again, put here the note H for further analysis. The calculation we can use, again, the definition we have used to, for the requirement of the full wave rectified output signal. We said this is what we need. So for the Vs is less than zero. So Vs is larger than zero. These, these are the conditions we need. And then we needed two settings. That's actually what we have chosen there. So the R5 over R4, so the ratio of these two resistors must be one. And then also that the here the ratio must be two. Now again, we make it uh, easy for ourselves. So we just say this is all R and then we can make this R3 is equal to R over two. Again, as discussed before, let's take here the values as we have chosen also in the previous discussion. So all four resistors here are two kilo ohms. The only change here is the R3, which is then one kilo ohm. So all, all of them are two kilo ohms, only this one R3 is one kilo ohm. Okay, again, many other options are possible. Let's also look at our simulation circuit in Tina Ti Spice. See here again here the exact same circuit configuration. We have the resistors R1, R2, two kilo ohms, R4 and R5, also two kilo ohm, and R3 here, one kilo ohm. We have also selected our diodes and the operational amplifier. So what we have done is we have a dual supply, power supply of plus and minus 10 volts, op amps TL081C, both of them OP1 and OP2, diodes 1 and 4148, and the resistors values are shown in, and we have also taken a load resistor of 500 ohms. We have discussed the effect of this load resistor, if the load resistor goes down, so you make it really small, let's say 50 or 10 ohms, then you're drawing more current than the op amp can supply. So we are get some clipping. So this is done just to avoid that clipping. Okay. Now let's also look at the simulation results, the plot. So you see here the, again, the VH, which is now this voltage, which is directly actually the output of the precision whole phase rectifier. You see that it's inverted and it is also rectifying the first part, but it's inverted. Now it is not passing the second half of the period so you see actually the effect of only this precision whole phase rectifier this part only this is our input so vs and now the vo is here so it is again exactly as we wanted but how does this circuit now actually behave mathematically now again this is the expression we have found this is minus r r5 over r3 times vh and a minus r5 over r4 times vs this is now the inverting summing amplifier uh, expression having two input Vs and this VH here. What you see, you can actually also look at it in more detail by substituting the values for the resistors. Now we get here two kilo ohms over one, which is then minus two here, and here just minus one. Now you see here minus two of this pink uh, waveform minus the blue waveform of the Vs. Now how does it work? Let's see, if this is peak two volts and I need to multiply it by minus two, that will be flipped and then going up actually by four volts. 
then I need to subtract this positive cycle here, which is then 2 volts, so that me then 4 minus 2 is 2. So it's exactly the same, exactly as we have it here in the plot as from the formula. Now for the second part, we have the VH is 0, so this part is 0. Now since this is negative, so minus 2, I need to flip that so that I actually have them minus. Minus 2 will be then again plus 2. So this is exactly doing what we want here. This expression is really rectifying or making the absolute value of this blue line. So this is indeed as expected, so this is correct. If you have any questions, comments about this example, please let me know. I will try to answer them as soon as possible. Don't forget to like and share these videos so that we can reach more people for these interesting topics. Thanks for your cooperation and see you next time in another video.